Hi everyone, Sarah here, and welcome back to Remote Pilot 101. We have some recent news that will likely soon affect remote pilots, and we want to share it today with you. The FAA released their new proposed regulation known as Part 108, also often just called BV loss, or beyond visual line of sight. If you've been hearing that term more often lately, there's a good reason. The FAA is actively working to open the skies for BV loss operations, and that means more potential opportunities for commercial drone pilots. Keep in mind, at this point, Part 108 is only proposed legislation and has yet to be finalized. This release, however, is a big step towards beyond visual line of sight rules being approved. Let's walk through what BV loss really means, why it's important, and how you can get ready for what's ahead. So first, what exactly is BV loss? Like I mentioned earlier, BV loss stands for beyond visual line of sight. That means flying your drone without being able to see it, not with your own eyes, and not even with a visual observer. Right now, under Part 107 regulations, remote pilots are required to keep drones within visual range at all times. BV loss changes that. It lets us fly drones farther, much farther than ever before. According to the published FAA fact sheet, the types of operations that would be enabled with BV loss include several areas. We're talking agriculture, aerial surveys, flight testing, recreational flights, and yes, even package delivery, which has been a hot topic for the last couple of years. These types of operations are limited under the current visual limits. Part 108 is designed to make BV loss flights routines and scalable. These types of operations are limited under the current visual limits. Part 108 is designed to make BV loss flights routine and scalable. Currently, without Part 108, operators must apply for special waivers to operate BV loss. So having a clear rule in place is going to be a game changer for many remote pilots. Of course, with more freedom comes more responsibility. Flying beyond line of sight brings new risks. You can't see other aircraft. You can't dodge birds or obstacles the same way. You can't even guarantee a stable signal. Safety and security need to be a top priority. That's why the FAA also has included rules to maintain safety, especially keeping manned and unmanned aircraft at a safe distance from one another. A few of the aspects of the new proposed rule include maintaining drone operations below 400 feet above ground level, seeking FAA approval for the intended flight area, as well as providing the number of daily operations. The drones would be requested to have lighting and broadcast remote ID, which is basically like the electronic license plate for your drone. In addition, the FAA has introduced entities called Automated Data Service Providers to support scalable BV loss ops and maintain safe separation from each other and manned aircraft. This safe separation would also be attained with detect and avoid technologies. Proposed steps in the Part 108 rule also include security measures. Some of these steps include cybersecurity as well as physical security policies to manage security risks. Record keeping and authorizations will also be a large aspect of BV loss operations. Tentatively, it looks like remote pilots will be required to operate with either a permit or certificate. Permits would be for lower risk operations with a smaller fleet size, weight, and operational scope. Certificates, on the other hand, would be for higher risk ops with larger aircraft size, weight, and speed. Operating under a certificate, as you can imagine, involves more supervision and requirements. There is so much more to this Part 108 regulation. We will link it below our video if you would like to read it through yourself. The remote pilot team expects to hear and learn much more on this upcoming rule in the following months. If you are interested in potentially flying under Part 108, 
Here's a quick checklist to get you started while this rule is being considered and finalized. For now, understand what part 107 allows and where it ends. Make sure your drone is remote ID compliant. Start learning about this new detect and avoid system summarized in the rule. Keep an eye on part 108 developments and provide the FAA feedback on the current release if you have any information that could help shape the regulation for the better. If you haven't already, click and subscribe. And if you're thinking about becoming a remote pilot, check out our Remote Pilot 101 for a free two-week trial by visiting m0a.com slash trial if you're serious about becoming a confident, safe, and successful drone pilot. Remote Pilot 101 is where it starts. We've helped over 55,000 pilots pass their Part 107 knowledge test. And more importantly, understand what it means to fly professionally. With the Remote Pilot 101 course, you'll get lifetime access to easy to follow video lessons, real FA practice exams, and the industry's best support. Remember, a good pilot is always learning. See you next time.